everyone, welcome to my sophomore attempt at Whiteboard Friday, coming to you from here in Seattle at Whiteboard Studios. Um, today I'm going to be talking about link bait and its misconceptions. I'm speaking at SMX London next month on this issue on link bait. Um, however, there are a lot of things that go into link bait and it's not like I can cover all of them in the 15 minutes you get to talk, um, because in actuality 15 minutes is not all that long. Um, so I'm just going to go over a couple of things here today that I'm not going to talk about in London. Um, I think that there are four main misconceptions about link bait that you hear often, and, and not just from amateurs, but from professionals as well, and, and they're pretty easy misconceptions to have because they're things that we hear all the time. First of all, the idea that link bait is always humorous. Link bait's not necessarily humorous, it's just that the stuff you see a lot of the time on the top of Reddit and the top of Dig, and when you click stumble, if you have your stumble upon settings set in a certain way, which I do, you come across humorous stuff a lot. Um, just because the majority of what we refer to as, of as link bait is funny doesn't mean it has to be. Next misconception, link bait is always scandalous, and this kind of plays into the first one. Humorous, scandalous sometimes go together. Um, Scandalous link bait is the stuff you see usually at the top of Reddit. You know, it's it's kind of the often the news of the world type of thing. George Bush's space alien, or um, you know, Paris Hilton has come out with a new video. Stuff like this. That's it works in a certain audience, but it doesn't necessarily have to be how you promote your link bait. And a lot of companies are scared of link bait because that's what they associate it with. Our beginner's guide is link bait. It's been linked to across many, many websites. It's been scraped to within an inch of its life. And as good as we feel that it is, it's neither humorous nor scandalous. It's useful, and it's useful for our industry, and it gets talked about a lot in our industry, and we're, you know, we're really pleased to have it. But it's not something that's going to appear on the top of Reddit. Next a uh, misconception about link bait kind of plays into the idea that they're not all going to appear on the top of Reddit. No and social news services are not your only options. I originally wrote some industries have very little presence in the social news sphere. What I actually meant is that most industries don't. However, most industries, and not just industries, but hobby groups, um, common interests, I guess what you would say, they have a presence on the internet in terms of blogs, in terms of forums. Um, my husband is a good example. He doesn't really know what StumbleUpon is, he doesn't really know what Dig is as much as I, you know, talk about it every now and then, um, not as often as I used to. Um, he doesn't know what any of these things are, but he really likes Jeeps and he goes to Jeep forums and reads about Jeeps. And people on those forums, they link to things and they talk about things and they spread link bait around. And they don't put it on Dig and they don't put it on StumbleUpon. But that audience that is looking at that stuff is really targeted. Those people are really interested in the stuff that they're reading on there. I mean, SEO didn't even have much of a social media, well, I mean, it had a social media presence, but it didn't have its own social media site until very recently. And then Spin came along and, and changed that somewhat. Uh, the good thing about forums and specific social media sites, or so, um, social networks, is that the audience is much more targeted. The downside to that is that they're usually far less savvy. They will probably not give you quite the anchor text that you're looking for. They will link to stuff maybe in pictures, they will link to stuff with wonderful anchor text like click here. However, your, your content is appearing in front of people who are more likely to click on your ads to buy what you have to offer. Um, and just because it's not something that is being spread around in email forwards because people have come across it on Reddit doesn't mean that it's not link bait. Final misconception I want to cover. Link bait is an unethical and manipulative form of marketing. I don't believe that link bait is unethical or manipulative. Crap content is never going to make it. Um, you know, I know when somebody has created something that they expect to be link bait. I know when I'm looking at it, generally every time you, you go to Reddit that you're looking at link bait. People don't get their content on there by accident. Um, every time you click stumble upon, you're seeing something that somebody has created on purpose. However, I'm not too worried about that. I'm not too worried about linking to it, voting it up, um, and I guess falling for the link bait. 
if it is good content, if I can tell that a lot of work's gone into it, a lot of research's gone into it, um, or even if it's just a really good idea. So don't listen to people who tell you that link bait is manipulative because it really isn't. It's a genuine marketing tactic and I think it actually adds to the quality of people's online experience rather than taking away from it. This said, there's a lot more to say about Linkbait, um, as I'm sure you're all aware, and I will be speaking on the Linkbait panel on the 16th of November in London at SMX. Um, the conference is November 15 and 16. Um, I know that a lot of our US and uh, Australia and other international audiences won't be able to make it, but um, you know, if you're in Western Europe and feeling like taking a trip over to London, definitely come by because I think it's going to be a really good event. Um, there's a lot of excitement about it already and it's still over a month or just under a month away. So come by to SMX and um, hope to see you all there. Same time next week for Whiteboard Friday.